Hello, in this video we will review how to install the Televic Cocon software. This is part one. First thing you'll need to do is get the installer file itself. So you can open up your web browser. You can navigate directly to our website, televic-conference.com, or simply Google Televic software updates. And will be the first result. That'll take you right to where you need to be. So the first thing we're going to look for is Cocon. In most cases, you're going to want to grab the latest Cocon installer. We will always have the latest installer as the first item on our download page. So we'll go ahead and download that. When prompted, you can put in your name and email address. and download the file. When the download's done, we'll go ahead and show it in the folder. And we'll grab that file and drag it over to our desktop for ease of use. Next, you'll need to right click on the installer. Make sure every time you run it as an administrator. This is important to successful installation. Then you'll have the setup wizard which will walk you through the installation. You need to agree to the license. Now this page, uh, people tend to click past it very quickly, but we should check what components we actually need in here. By default, Cocon's going to install all of its different applications with the exception of signage, because signage is usually driven by a dedicated signage computer. So most of the things we want, we're gonna want the operator application, the room configurator, and the meeting manager, uh, but other things like the audio application. If you don't have the Dante card and the audio application license, you probably don't need this. If you're not using interpretation, you don't need that. Uh, nameplates, if you don't have nameplates, you won't need to select that. Same with the web signage. If you're not going to do signage, you won't need that. Signage screen, if you aren't going to have signage, you won't need that. And the video application, you won't need that if you don't have video. Uh, conversely, if you have any of those things, uh, you'll want to make sure you install those. So for this, I'll just keep everything checked and install them all. You can pick your own destination folder or just let it go to the default. And the installer will take a few minutes to run. And then when the software installation completes, you'll get this window. Show release note will be checked. If you leave it checked, it'll just show the notes on that release, or you can uncheck it and you won't see them. And you'll select finish. You'll notice that you have a lot of new icons on your desktop for all of the various Cocon applications that we installed. Please see the next videos on database installation uh, to get the next step of installation rolling. Thanks for watching.